Yeah, what's up guys? Rigo here from Mac Kite. So for this week's video, I wanted to talk about one tip that you can do to improve your kite loops off the water. And I've been doing a lot of big air content over the last year, linking up with some of the best riders in the world to do tutorials, kind of learn the trade a little bit. Personally, I've always considered myself a dedicated park freestyle rider, but I've always enjoyed the versatility of kiteboarding and big air is the one thing that really makes our sport stand out. So for this video, I'm gonna talk about one thing that I think you can do that will help you massively with your kite loops. All right, so this is going to be another fitness video. Sorry guys, but it always comes back to fitness. If you're not fit, you're not gonna progress for the more advanced moves. And the one common theme that I've encountered when talking with all kinds of big air riders, doing the trick tips, um, you need a strong core. You just, when you're doing like a kite loop late back roll, for example, uh, one of the key points in that trick tip we do with Ewan is after you loop the kite, you wanna make sure that you don't get stretched out. You wanna stay tight so you can huck that roll after. And actually, one thing I've noticed with my kite loops is I'm always getting stretched out when I do them. And that's like kind of a limiting factor when you're trying to move into more advanced tricks is having that core strength. So one thing that I've been doing over the last few weeks now, and that I've added to my fitness routine is the toes to bar. And you gotta work your way into this one. So you can start with like L sits, knee raises. I think probably for most people like the knee raise, just uh, hanging from like a dip bar or hanging from a pull up bar and just bringing your knees up into your chest three sets of five, add a rep every workout. In six months, you're gonna be belting out some high numbers and you're gonna have crazy core strength and endurance. And as well, you know, once you start getting those numbers up, let's say you can do like 20 um, knees to your chest or whatever, start pointing your legs out and uh, just doing like L sits, bringing your legs up. And then again, once you're doing like 15 or whatever, you're feeling stronger. What you wanna do is hang from a pull-up bar, comfortable shoulder width grip, and just L-sit, bring your toes up to the bar, and kinda of do a little poking motion where you can feel your core engaged. And the ultimate goal is to be able to do like three sets of 12 to 15 of these. And what this is going to do is going to build up crazy core strength for you. And you can supplement this, you can do setups, you can do other basic things. But uh, the toes to bar, it's a killer workout, the L sit. And on top of it, it's just about being efficient. This is one quick move that you can do that's just gonna destroy your core, build up the strength fast if you're consistent and you do it say three times a week, four times a week even for some people if you're, uh, you're younger and you recover fast. But yeah, this is one move that I think is just dynamite for building a strong core. And I've noticed it in my kite loops and I feel stronger. And I think if you give this a go, you're going to be getting longer sessions, looping better. And if you're somebody who's working on more of the advanced tricks, if you can uh, bring this into your workout program, you're gonna notice this when you are doing some of those moves where you need to not let yourself get stretched out and just having more control in general. Now as a bonus, one thing that I love about this move is when you're hanging from that bar, it's gonna help your grip strength. And something for me, I actually developed, uh, I think they call it golfer's elbow, it's not tennis elbow, but my elbow joint right here, just from years and years of um, park riding and trying handle passes, I actually get a lot of pain there. And just hanging from a bar actually helps relieve a lot of that pain for me. I don't know if that's true for everybody. That's just something unique that I found. A friend, Chris Bobrick, recommended that I try hanging from a bar. And it really worked for me, helped with a lot of pain. But on top of that, what you're doing when you're hanging from a bar is you're strengthening your uh, ligaments and tendons, and you're improving your grip strength, which let's face it, when you're kiteboarding, grip, it's everything. I'm sure a lot of you've been out there for that first session after a winter being off the water and your arms are just toast. Oh man, especially if you're wearing mitts and it's cold out, oh, it hurts so bad. So it's kind of like doubling down, you're getting the grip strength, you're improving your tendons. I find it therapeutic and you're building your core. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. If you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you next time.